The Mariana Trench is a place that has sparked a lot of controversy over the years. Not only that, but there's plenty of mystery that comes out of this area. It's almost like the Bermuda Triangle. What's oh, what? oh my god! Oh my god. Yes. From barrel eye fish to a glass squid, today we're bringing you scary Mariana Trench creatures that you've never seen before. <laughs> Hatchetfish. One thing that people don't realize is just how many species of fish there are out there. We all think of the traditional ones like goldfish, red snapper, maybe even clownfish. But we really do overlook the fact that there are thousands of fish species down in the ocean. And because the ocean is so unexplored, there are plenty of undiscovered fish still waiting to meet us. But even the ones we have covered are pretty crazy to say the least. Take for example the hatchetfish. It sounds like some sort of tool that turned into a creature in the sea. But no, there's a lot more to it than that. As a matter of fact, this is a fish that you're going to want to learn about. Because it's not like the other ones. The hatchetfish has a few unique features. One of them happens to be pelvic bones that are tilted downwards with large eyes that point upwards. It's a swimming contradiction. It doesn't have much fear when it comes to predators or when it comes to hunting for food. Because it has a blade-like body that cuts through the water, and you'll never even know it's there. This is due in part to the pale blue lights that sit on its belly. It kind of helps it to camouflage. Another unique fact is that hatchetfish isn't the only species that evolve into this type of camouflage. It's mostly what are known as twilight zone animals that do this. And the twilight zone happens to be part of the ocean that's not at the deepest level, but also not at the top level either. It's a sweet spot, one that if you're looking for this fish you might want to check. It was supposed to be just an expedition to look for coral reef down beneath the surface, but instead these divers got a lot more than what they bargained for. As you can tell from this photo, something sinister is lurking in the water. And the worst part about this whole story is that the divers did not survive. They had a special camera that was able to capture this stunning image. But what they captured in the Mariana Trench shocked the whole world. Because what we're looking at is something that's not on any research papers about fish. It's not a known creature to man. We don't know if it's green in color or if it's just the color of the water. There are a lot of unanswered questions here. The top question that we can think of is just what is this creature? Why does it look so monstrous? And what happened to the people who took the photos? Given the fact that they were never found, that's kind of spooky. Because there's so little to work with, we have far more questions than we do answers. So that leaves it up to you guys. What do you think this photo is all about? What do you think the monster in the photo is? Is it just some sort of whale? Or is it another species altogether? Let us know in the comments below with the hashtag open discussion to let your voice be heard. Comb jellies. When it comes to the oceans, there are plenty of species that when we look at them, we know exactly what they are. When you see a thing poking out from the surface of the water, your best guess is that it's a shark. When you see a colorful orange fish by your boat, you probably think it's a clownfish. And then there are jellyfish. You can't mistake what those look like. Then again, there are many different species of jellyfish. There are so many that you may not have heard about all of them. Well, today we're going to break that for you and tell you about something called comb jellies. They may seem like jellyfish, but they're a little bit different. Let us explain. Comb jellies kind of look like jellyfish, but they're from a different group called tenophores. This is a Greek term, and one of the most distinctive features of these creatures doesn't happen to be the combs that appear on the side of his body, but it's actually a mix of the combs and the teeth of this creature. The interesting part is that they're used for swimming. Comb jellies are also one of the largest organisms to use this method for their enjoyment. If you look at them, they give off this rainbow-like aura, which is an incredible sight to say the least. They measure around a few millimeters long, live around coastal and oceanic waters, but you can also find them worldwide. If you ever have a problem locating one, just look for the rainbow. That's a good indicator that they are nearby. Black Dragonfish Throughout our time doing these lists, we've always come across animals and species that sound like they're completely made up. Or they sound like they're out of some sort of fairy tale. 
But those are the types of animals that we love to talk about because there's always something new. There's always something that's mind-blowing that won't let you look away. And you learn something. You learn that the world isn't all black and white. This is especially true when you reach the deepest depths of the water. We're talking about bodies of water. The stuff where you peer into it and you're not going to be able to see far down. And one special animal that we uncovered for this channel happens to be a fish named the black dragonfish. It already sounds a little cursed, but let's take a look at what it's all about. One look at this dragonfish and you might think that it's out of the movie Alien vs Predator. These fish are long, slender fish that live in the mesopelagic waters at depths of around 2,000 meters. They also happen to be sexually diamorphic. This means that the males can usually be larger than the females. These fish are definitely scary because they munch on other fish. They can even produce their own light. If anything sounds like a monster, it's this species. But hey, at least you'll never have to bump into one of these because they live deep in the ocean. Anyway, maybe if you need some light, you can contact them. Sea Devil Angler Fish We're only up to number 17, and the Mariana Trench is turning out to be one of the most frightening places that you could ever visit. And this is because the creatures that lurk around this area are unlike any of the other creatures you're going to find anywhere else. They all have these ominous names that seem to get more frightening the more that we talk about them. Like we said before, there are those fish that just don't seem like they are real. They sound like they've come from the Game of Thrones or the Lord of the Rings. And this next one is definitely no exception because it's the Sea Devil Angler Fish. If there was ever a fish that sounded like it had sprouted up from hell, this is definitely the one. When we heard about it, we couldn't believe our ears. But it's as real as it could be. Just like the last fish that we spoke about, this one is just as spooky. The angler fish happens to be a female type fish that attracts its prey using something that looks like a fishing pole right on its head. The tip of the pole lights up in the dark and when the hungry animals get close, this giant fish eats them up like a monster. They can measure up to 8 inches in length. To us, that might not sound that big. But to the fish down there, it might as well be a shark. It's related to other angler fish and can be found worldwide at the depths of 15,000 feet below sea level. It's definitely a spooky fish that you might never come in contact with. Unless you're hanging around the deep sea, but based on the looks of it, that might not be a bad thing. Glass Squid Jellyfish and Red Snapper aren't the only types of fish in the Mariana Trench that are popular in mainstream media. We all have that one sea creature that stands above the rest in our eyes. Who doesn't have their own favorite fish? From seahorses, octopus, you name it, we all have our favorite sea creatures. But when it comes to the Mariana Trench, you can't really have a favorite because there's just so many random ones that you don't know about. And we're talking about ones that defy the common perception of what a sea creature even is. Because you probably wouldn't believe us if we told you that there is something known as a glass squid. Like we said before, it sounds like science fiction, but it's actually a real thing. Is it actually made of glass? Let's take a look. When you look at this creature, it's understandable why people think that it's made of glass. It kind of looks like glass right before it's finished being made. Or it kind of looks like something you would buy at a party store. Then again, it can also look like one of those hospital bags that contain all the fluid. Whatever is the case, there are actually around 60 species of glass squid. They can also be called the cockatoo squid. They range in length from 10 centimeters to over 3 meters long. And you guessed it, they're called glass squids because of how transparent they are. They have a swollen body and short arms. They also have two rows of suckers, which can also be called hooks. The third arm that they have is often enlarged. These species, in addition to being transparent, are also bioluminescent which means they can light up. Not for nothing, these are pretty cool species. Barrel Eye Fish Now we move on to one that's a little less scary. It's still peculiar nonetheless, but it's not as frightening as the last few fish we've covered. And in actuality, this one is honestly a lot cooler than the other ones as well. It's known as the Barrel Eye Fish. It has this name for good reason. When you look at it, you're not going to believe what you're looking at. You might even believe it's CGI or some sort of illustration. That's because this fish has a transparent head. If only humans could be able to look into their heads without an x-ray. 
Actually, that might be a little frightening. So, let's stick to this weird fish before we get into this speculating about what humans will be able to do one day. When it comes to this fish, it was a mystery for a while. Researchers had no idea what type of fish this was, especially since it looked like it had a propeller in its head. Not only that, it also kind of looks like it has a human face. And no one quite knew what this fish was for half a century. But now they realize it's just another deep sea fish. That's pretty funny looking. It's adapted to its pitch black environment through many different ways. They're called barrel eye fish because their eyes are tubular in shape. They live in the depths that have zero sunlight, and they may be great at collecting light. They have terrible eyesight otherwise. Unfortunately for us, we can see them perfectly clear and they're downright scary. Supergiant Amphipod The Mariana Trench has proven to be one of the most interesting areas in the world in terms of sea life. The creatures that live in this area seem to be topping themselves every time you come across another one. That's what these lists are all about though. They don't stray away from the weird, and they seek out the fish and creatures that you otherwise would have never come into contact with, if not for us. This next Mariana Trench creature is one that will make you do a double take for sure. That's because it's really big, and it's not super aesthetically pleasing either. What are we talking about exactly? We're talking about the super giant amphipod. When you see it, we promise you're probably going to think it's a monster out of a movie. Or you might think that it's just a really big shrimp. Whatever the case may be, scientists have been studying this new crustacean by using traps together to get a better glimpse. They're more than 20 times larger than the typical crustacean. Typical crustaceans are generally less than half an inch long. You can usually find them in lakes and oceans around the world. At first, the scientists had no idea what these were because they were just so big. Some scientists said that they don't even feel real when you hold them. They almost feel like plastic toys. From where we're sitting, they kind of look like them. But instead of playing with them on the floor, we think they're best left in the ocean where they belong. Box Jellyfish We've already spoken about jellyfish on this list, but because there are just so many different species of them, we couldn't just stop where we were prior. We still have plenty more to cover when it comes to these special creatures. Surprisingly, not many people know too much about them. We all have our own perceptions when it comes to jellyfish. We can imagine them in our heads. We may even think of cartoons like SpongeBob. But forget about the traditional jellyfish for a moment and open your mind up to something called box jellyfish. Let's just say that it is not the typical type of jellyfish that you've seen before. And we're about to tell you all about it. Box jellyfish seem like something out of a science fiction movie, with their transparency and glowing little areas. But what they're distinguished by most are their box-like cube-shaped bodies. One thing that you can't tell about these animals is that they can produce potent venom. That's delivered directly by their tentacles. When you get stung by one of these, it's extremely painful while also being fatal. So no matter how pretty these things look, they're not to be trifled with. There's at least 51 species of these jellyfish, which makes it even scarier given the fact that you never quite know when you're going to bump into one. This is just another reason to stay out of the Mariana Trench. Anytime you hear the word fatal, that's a pretty good indicator. Stonefish Let's face it, we've covered some pretty interesting fish so far. We really dug deep into the Mariana Trench to find creatures that aren't just spooky, but have some unique qualities to them. The fish that have come up from the Mariana Trench definitely stand in the category all to themselves. But this next one isn't quite as flamboyant as the last few ones. But it is unique in many other ways. We're talking about something called the stonefish. It kind of reminds us of the actor known as the rock, but in fish form. This is because there's just something stoic about this fish that's unlike the other ones out there. It's not so intimidating as it is fascinating to look at. So what's the deal with this stonefish, and why is it kind of like the rock? Well, let us tell you. If you take a look at this fish, it does look like a stone. Maybe one that came from a volcano. It also looks like a seashell that was burned up. But it's not anything like a stone because it's a species of venomous marine ray-finned fish. Keyword, venom. That means that you need to stay away from it. It can be lethal to humans. This is one of those times where you don't want to leave every stone unturned. You don't want to turn this one at all. 
They were first found in around 1801 by German naturalists in India. They're usually brown or gray and may have areas of yellow, orange, or red. The fin on top, known as the dorsal fin, contains around 12 and 14 spines. There's also around 5 to 7 soft rays. We think that's enough for the stonefish for today. Once we heard that it's lethal, it's not fun anymore. Ping Pong Tree Sponge What would be a list about the Mariana Trench if there wasn't something fun mixed in the middle of it? We don't just have to cover things that are spooky and out there in terms of how crazy they look. No. Instead, we love to go outside of the box and find things that will also make people smile at how different they are. One of the things that we love to show off here at the channel are things that would probably be best suited in a Dr. Seuss book. You know, those really crazy species that look like they were drawn up by an equally crazy mind? That's where the ping pong tree sponge comes into play. Yes, that's a real name for the thing. If you like ping pong, trees, or sponges, this one's definitely for you. This creature right here seems like a pair of balloons, but really, it's a species like nothing else. These sponges have gained mainstream media attention because of their odd shape. And the fact that they could be found on the coast of Antarctica, that's only made them even more interesting, because who doesn't love an elusive creature? If this creature is anything, it's definitely elusive. But hey, just look at that for yourself. Can you name a species similar to this one? We don't think so. Ghostfish. We know that we said we're going to take a break from the spookier fish out in the world. But what we didn't realize was the fact that there are just so many spooky fish out there that it's hard to ignore them. And one thing that makes fish spooky is when it either has a name that's questionable or it just looks downright frightening. You know, the type of fish that when you see it, you would think that it would belong in some sort of horror movie. Well, this next one on the list fits that description perfectly because it's the ghost fish. Yeah, and it's not the type of fish that's going to be in Casper the Friendly Ghost. It's one of those fish that instead looks like it belongs in a cemetery. This ghost fish was recently seen for the very first time, and there's no doubt it's a living and swimming ghost fish. That's part of the Aphionidae. It had been caught on camera during an ongoing National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration exploration. If that's not a mouthful, we don't know what is. This exploration has detailed creatures in the Mariana Trench, and he just so happened to find this ghost-looking fish. You can tell just from looking at it why they call it a ghost fish. And although plenty of people probably consider it spooky, it's kinda cute. It's not Casper the Friendly Ghost level cute, but it's cuter than most of the things on this list. What do you think about the ghost fish? Let us know in the comments below. Stingray now we can make a lot of jokes about the fish that swim around in the Mariana Trench, because at the end of the day, you have to keep things lighthearted, no matter how scary a fish can be. But the truth of the matter is, there are some fish out there that can be downright deadly. Just ask Steve Irwin, who was killed by a stingray. Now, of course, you can avoid these types of things if you don't go in the water where they live. But Steve Irwin was a master at dealing with animals, and yet the tragic accident with this was what took his life. And that's where we fall on this next one on our list, because we're about to talk about the Stingray. You probably heard about this one before, but there's still a lot that can be spoken about. Stingrays aren't just a species all to themselves, they're a part of a group called Sea Rays. They're actually related to sharks, which explains why they're so deadly. Although they're deadly in different ways, stingrays can be commonly found in tropical and subtropical marine waters, like the Mariana Trench. Despite being so dangerous, they're progressively becoming threatened or vulnerable to extinction. This is due in part to unregulated fishing. As of the year 2013, there had been 45 species listed as vulnerable or endangered, and right now, the status of these species is unknown. The mouth of a stingray happens to be located on the ventral side of the vertebrate. It's definitely a unique feature that other creatures of the Mariana Trench don't have. They even have some pointed teeth. One other interesting fact is the remaining season. Some stingray species change their tooth morphology. We have no idea why they do that, but they seem to be all along just fine. Pelican Eel if you followed us on this list before, then you know that there are some times where animals cross paths in terms of their existence. We've had plenty of animals that share a name with another species entirely, and those are often the best ones on our list. 
That's how we came across this pelican eel. That's right, you wouldn't expect to hear those two words together. But for whatever reason, scientists have coined this animal a pelican eel. With a name like that, you wouldn't expect it to be super interesting. Well, you'd be wrong, because this is just that. It's a species like no other, and let's take a look. This specific eel is a deep sea eel. It is the only known member of the genus, Eurypharynx. But forget about the science mumbo jumbo. These creatures can be pretty hard to describe because they're so fragile. Even when you try to pick them up, you can't get a good look at them without damaging them. And this is because the deep sea has an immense pressure that when you take it out of there, it's almost like picking up sand. The only way that these species have been categorized has been through studying underwater. One of the most prominent features of the pelican eel is its large mouth. And this is because it's much larger than its body. And now we know why it's called the pelican eel. Great White Shark It's always fascinating how when it comes to the animal kingdom, there are just those animals that are undeniable in some way. For example, the lion is the king of the jungle. Elephants are considered smart. Hyenas are to be watched out for. Tigers are majestic but dangerous. Great white sharks are not to be trifled with. Who doesn't know about great white sharks? They're almost like the lion of the sea. Maybe even more ferocious. There have been so many stories over the years of people getting wounded and sometimes killed by these terrifying species. Well, today we're going to take a look at just what makes them so fierce and why they hang out in the Mariana Trench. Let's just say it's yet another reason why you don't want to travel to this area without being prepared. Well, let's take a look anyway. Aside from being one of the scariest creatures of the sea, the great white shark is also part of the mackerel species. You can find them in coastal waters off the major oceans. And of course, in the Mariana Trench. They have a length of 19 feet and can weigh around 4,400 pounds when they reach full maturity. Let's just say you're not going to fend off one of these with a baseball bat. One other cool thing about these species is that they can live to around 70 years old. This makes it one of the longest lived cartilaginous fishes currently known to man. Scariest fringe head. No matter what culture that you look at, there's always something interesting to point to. There's something that makes every culture unique in and of itself. And it's interesting how no two cultures are exactly alike. For example, in America, there's a whole subculture of grunge music. The term fringe gets thrown around a lot when it comes to that subculture. There are bands like Nirvana and Meatloaf. This type of music has epitomized an entire generation from the 90s and up. There have been merchandise, TV shows, concerts, and so much more that has surrounded this fringe element. But that's not the only fringe that you can associate with a culture. Because right now we have the scariest fringe head. These crazy looking creatures usually live in the Pacific water off the coast of North America and around San Francisco. They're pretty frightening because they ambush predators after they stake out like police. They do this by hanging out in a little crevice and then they'll aggressively charge and anything that comes too close to them, even human divers. The only thing that's known about this tactic is that once they latch on, they don't let go. So, we take it as we'll never come in contact with one of them, and that's by choice. Blue Ringed Octopus We don't exactly know why, but the octopus has always been one of those creatures that people have spoken about. It's used in cartoons, company logos, and so much more. Maybe it's because they have so many tentacles. Or maybe it's just because they look strange. Or maybe it's because they're so intelligent. We're not too sure about this one. But we do know that people love to talk about octopus. People even eat them. That's one we'll also never understand. Except of course calamari. Which is not really octopus, but it's a squid. You can understand why you would love to hear some more about octopus. And that's why we're going to bring you one of those that you probably never heard of. It's called the blue ring octopus. And this one is a doozy. Let's just say it's not like any of the octopus you've seen before. And yeah, it has a lot to do with this blue ring. One thing to know about this blue ringed octopus, aside from it looking like some sort of plague, is that its bite can be rare, but also very deadly. They can also hide, which is kind of scary because you can turn over a shell and then get bit. Their bite can cause nausea and stomach cramps. 
It also has been said that these bites can cause your chest to feel like it's being flushed with cold water on the inside. If that's not scary, we really don't know what is. Our suggestion is to stay far away from a creature like this. We can say something nice about it though. They are pretty to look at. Lionfish If you were listening closely to our list, we've referenced a lion before. We compared it to a great white shark, and that's because those two are very similar in the way that they dominate the territory. Heck, sharks even dominate our territory if you think about it. But we're not going to talk about lions or sharks, right? This moment, we're going to talk about another fish that takes after a lion, and it's called the lionfish. And no, it's not as intimidating as either one of those two species from before. But this is a very interesting creature. By the end of it, you might be calling it the king of the sea, because it's definitely not the king of the jungle. This is one of those fish that you can't look away from because there's just so many things going on with it. It almost looks like an illustration. There's nothing too dangerous about these creatures, and they belong to their own type of species. They date back to the 1800s and their discovery. These are the types of fish that we wouldn't mind getting close to. Then again, they live in such deep waters, who knows if that's even possible. And if you've ever seen Star Trek The Next Generation, Captain Picard had a lionfish in his ready room. Pretty cool, right, to think about a fish in space. Sea snakes. Houston, we have a problem. We say this because this next one on our list is downright terrifying. We promise you it's the very last thing that you would want to hear when we tell you about creatures. But before we tell you, take a guess as to what this most scary creature in the world is. If you guess snakes, you're absolutely right. Snakes strike so much fear in the hearts of people all around the world. Maybe it's because they slither around, or maybe it's just because they're so unpredictable. Now you mix that with the ocean and it's even more terrifying. Luckily, snakes can't survive underwater. But that's not the case for something known as sea snakes. Sea snakes can also be called coral reef snakes and they are elapid snakes that inhabit marine environments for almost all of their lives. And most of these sea snakes are venomous, which makes them even more scary. The only good thing about this is that they feed mostly on fish eggs. But of course, if you're the fish, you know, the fish that are protecting their eggs, this might not be good news for them. The good news for us is that they've adapted to water so well that they can't move on land. So if you're worried about sea snakes, don't be. It's only if you go swimming. Check your pools. Cone Snail Have we spooked you a little bit too much with this list? So far we have covered a lot of spooky fish out there in the world. It's kind of our MO. But now we'll take a break from the scary and bring you something that's a little cuter. Well, everyone's definition of cute is a little bit different from the next, but we happen to think this one is on the cuter side compared to a lionfish. We're about to show you something called the Cone Snail, and it's a very unique creature. Not just from the name alone, it got its whole host of attributes that can't be matched with anything else. Unfortunately, it's nothing like an ice cream cone, it's more like a snail. But we promise you it's still cute nonetheless. These snails are widely distributed in all regions and can usually be found on their rocks or coral. They're noticed by their colorful shells that are oddly symmetrical. They also have a ready to sink head with one or two pairs of tentacles popped on top. The important thing that you need to know is that you should avoid handling these cone snails, as the venom can be injected through clothing and even gloves. So yeah, there's that. Not quite as cute anymore, is it? Hagfish We won't end this list on a spooky note, nor will we end it on a cute note. We're going to end it on an interesting note. Because now we show you the hagfish. And we promise you, it's not like any fish that you've ever seen before. But it's definitely one you will never forget about. Because the hagfish is in a category of its own. Let's take a look. These fish are eel-shaped, slime-producing marine fish that can also be called slime eels. Obviously, they're not fun to pick up. One interesting fact about these creatures is that they're the only living animals to have a skull but no vertebral column. This makes them a very interesting creature to say the least, because they also don't have jaws. As you can see, this world is filled with creatures or just as interesting on the inside as they are on the outside. This is one of them. And there you have it. The Mariana Trench is nothing like it appears to be. It's filled with creatures that belong in horror movies. And if you ever get a chance to take a trip there, be sure to take a lot of photos because you never know if it's going to be your last. 
That's just how unpredictable the Mariana Trench can be. Until next time, stay safe and stay fishy.